hey hello welcome to another video today's video was about how you can make functional doors and windows simple as that so uh let me show you so firstly you want to make your design your own door so that that's it just if you don't have your door designed pause the video design it now and then we can continue so when you have your door designed we're going to separate what we need and what we don't need so what we don't need we'll put them in the sides and what we need we'll put them in the door so in sides you we have the parts that go on the side which should not move so they stay still so those will be separated and then the parts that we want to move when we open the door they will go inside something called a hinge we make a hinge and so for the people that can't see uh, or notice it as you can see this small block I can turn the transparency off this is the hinge we just made a simple part we placed it against one of the sides and scaled it down and just called it a hinge that's it that's all you have to do to make a hinge just grab a part just put it up against make sure it fits nicely and just scale it to the size of your door that's all you need to do for the hinge and then inside the hinge we're gonna put all the other stuff that we want to move so this we want to move this this the handles and the main f like the main door we want to also move this so make sure also the door does clip through the hinge so it doesn't look weird when it opens up so once you have that sorted out we're gonna grab our handles i made i made them both a union together so you can click so you don't have to separate them so i can have one script that does for both so you click this one and it this 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 is one part so basically we're gonna insert a sound which you can have the sound effect you want for the door and a click detector so we can detect any clicks on the door and then basically insert a normal script inside of the handle and i'll put this script in the paste bin in the description or comments so you can paste it easily but uh this what this script does is we give a local function of the local of a, the hinge we we say what the hinge is and then we say what the handle is we put the handle as a, the click detector which is inside the handle and then we start off with open equals false so because the door is closed and then the sound of course and then on the click of the handle the click detector we play off the sound to open the door and then we run the sequence to check if the door is open well or if it is if it is open equals false or if open equals true so if it is open in fact or is it over or if it is closed if it is closed it will proceed these lines and then open the door so what these lines do is because all these stuff all these parts are inside of the hinge when you move the hinge all these other parts will also move i just in case you want to do anything special i will also weld every part to the hinge uh i i, I did that just in case but so we go over the hinge the orientation and in order to find which orientation you want it to open you grab the hinge you scroll down all the way so you can see okay I, s I see now orientation zero zero so i go and i rotate and i see the middle one moves when i rotate it this way the middle one moves so i know oh okay i have to put the orientation in the script in the middle one so i put it in the middle one and so what this basically does is on the already set orientation so for this one is it's zero but it doesn't mean however you rotate it you can keep the script like this it just adds a 10 10 degrees to it and then every 0 0.01 seconds it repeats you can add bases how many times you want you can change the timings between each one uh, but it basically opens it 
and then it puts it open but if the door is is clicked and it is or and it is already open then we, we do minus so it closes back to the starting point and then open is false the door is closed that's basically how you make a simple door simple door and the same concept you can use for a window i have the sides and i have my model with my window model i have a hinge i i can open this i see i put the hinge at the top and then it is basically the same i have these two parts which are like to keep the window open they are cosmetic there's no uh, <coughs> there's no point into having it but i wanted some kind of realism so i added these and then again the handle which you click on to open it and then the other parts, I welded them again. So inside of the handle, you do the same, a script, a click detector, and sound. And yeah, basically, it's the same. You, I Because I have those cosmetics, I added these two, and I made them transparent when they're closed. And uh, I made them, sorry, I made them non-transparent when it's, uh, yeah, so when it, when the window's, closed it's not transparent when it is open it is not not when it is open it is not transparent i did the same i checked to see my hinge value my orientation i saw orientation like this and i rotated it and i saw oh it moves on the first one so i know i need to change in the script the first one and i saw it go in the minus in the direction i wanted it to go so i add minus 10 and i did the same down here but i did positive 10 and then that's basically how you make a door and a window so you can see when i open workspace i'll go to window inch or orientation open and i click it orientation now changes because it now is open and you can see those accessories i added and I click it again. And now it's back to zero. Basically, that's basically how you do it. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.